Look Outreach is underwritten by the generous support of Munter Enterprises. Family owned and operated since 1972, integrity is important as our family name is on every project. Our word is our bond. Munter Enterprises. Just build it. Welcome back, everyone. Okay, it's time for a confession. I was probably about five years old. I grew up on the eastern end of Long Island. Back then, all it was was potato farmers, hence Warner Potato Chip Company was based right in my hometown. Used to go to the loading dock, get a tin of fresh potato chips. From that point on, I was hooked, and I mean seriously hooked. Lay's Classic, by the way, in case anybody's wondering. And last year, through Alan Richer here, I found out that we're doing a chip festival. Last year was the first year. This is the second year, and I invited him back again, along with the chair of the judging committee. This would be Lance Ingmeyer. So welcome, Lance. Welcome back, Alan. Thank Great you. Very nice here. to have you here. Nice to be here. Um, I don't know if there are many stories like mine, but uh, people love potato chips, and this particular area that we're in up here in Saratoga has quite a history, doesn't it, Alan? Yes, it certainly does. Um, there's a lot of speculation about where everything actually happened, but there's no doubt that the potato chip was put on the map in Saratoga. And the primary thing is that the initial generic name of the potato chip wasn't actually the potato chip, but it was the Saratoga chip. And now what, you know, people have interests. They collect cars, they collect stamps, they collect coins. You're interested in the history of the potato chip. That's unique. Well, it is. I think what happened was a number of years ago, I bought a house on Saratoga Lake and I was trying to find art for it. And in the process, um, it was a lot more difficult than I imagined compared to a place like uh, Lake George. And I was told to go visit Michael Noonan, who used to be uh, the protege of George Bolster, the famous uh, mm, the Bolster collection. Right. And he told me the story about how the potato chip was purportedly invented on Saratoga mm. Lake. And that's what really got me hooked. And also, as I mentioned, the original name being Saratoga Chip, I decided I was really going to look at the whole migration and how it spread across the country and, and um, throughout the world. Mm -hmm. and, and in the process, um, my mother always said, do everything in moderation, but I, I never did. <laughs> so essentially what happened is I gathered, I think, what I think is the largest collection of potato chip memorabilia in the world. And um, this is going to give me a great opportunity to display it all. Mm -hmm. It's so large that I have to have it in the store unit and this is a great opportunity thanks to my friend Lance here mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna have a 40 by 40 uh, display so it's gonna be like a, uh, a museum where people yeah, can come sure. and see all of it you're gonna see um, all kinds of bags and tins and machinery and you name it it's gonna be there all right now I guess the, the question begs to be answered this guy's your friend what well, happened? We don't admit that publicly. Yes. Yeah, Generally, we don't. But in this <laughs> situation, it's well worn. Yes, absolutely. So, Lance, uh, you've been involved with the Lions Club for many years. As a matter of fact, I think you mentioned to me you're going to be president next year. Right. Um, you know, just in case, there are a lot of different organizations in the community, but the Lions Club really stands out. What's the mission of the Lions, Lions Club? Primary Lions? mission, we're, we're actually celebrating our 100th year in the United States, nationwide also. Um, it's youth. Uh, hearing, hearing right. sight, right. and uh, diabetes. Yes. Those are our primary mission points, and each local Lions Club generally raises money locally and spends it locally. Yes, that's right. That I do know about. I've, uh, I've had the honor of speaking at the Lions Club a couple of times, and uh, at different times the Lions members have been on for any of the fundraising that they're doing pertaining to that mission. It's really quite an interesting organization. Uh, you got, you've gotten involved in this. Uh, <laughs> As a judging, head of the judging committee, what's that involved? Well, we bring, there's two-tier judging. We bring in a, a bunch of culinary-related folks mm -hmm. on Friday. This is not open to the public. Mm -hmm. And we taste all the chips in the, a variety of categories. Right. And they do the preliminary elimination. Right. And then at the event, we have a stage set up and well-known local uh, business restaurateurs are going to be there. Like... Jasper Alexander. Oh, great, um, great. And all this comes under the auspices of the Culinary Institute of America. And Dean Brendan Walsh, who is a friend of uh, ours, uh, is going to spend two days in Saratoga. He's going to be staying at the Bachelor Mansion. And uh, he will override the judging of both the Friday 
elimination judging mm -hmm. and the onstage judging. Yeah, rumor has it that the ghosts of the potato chip are in the Bachelor Mansion. What do you think? There, there could be some truth to that. Could there be. could be some truth. <laughs> hey, you know what I want to cycle back on? Because this is, uh, I find this whole thing fascinating. There are 25 companies competing, roughly, right? You have a few more that Correct. may come in. Correct. Uh, but there's 14 different categories. Correct. So what are these categories? Some of these chip companies are like the cousin to the potato chip, like popcorn. Oh. And so these companies... Heresy. It is. It is. It is. We're not a purist uh, chip festival anymore. Uh -huh. But we are trying to expand it both to the main chip companies as well as companies in Saratoga that produce other snack-type foods. Oh, so, cool. like salsa is going to be uh, a judge, uh, you know, as item. a potato chip item. Yes, right. Related item. Yeah, and then there's all different types of chips. There's tortilla right. corn chips and there's uh, regular potato chips. There's also uh, sour cream chips and yes, kettle right, chips right, and right. garlic chips and mm -hmm. seasoning. So, all of those are going to be broken into different categories that we work all year trying to determine where the Boy, that's, things you are know what it, that's a quagmire my god it, there's it so many it nuances is. to this you know what you're just sticking straight with a potato chip you have the classic kind of potato chips very thin lightly uh, fried you know a little bit mm -hmm. of salt and you've got the ones that have more oil or olive oil in them and are crisper yeah. and whatever yeah, darker oh yeah. man oh the russets yeah, you the know russets what I mean? are... okay you know we're hooked here look <laughs> the the festival is saturday july 15. it starts at 10 o'clock in the morning bring the whole family this is a wonderful opportunity to bring the kids in and, definitely and write and sample all kinds of potato chips <clears throat> see alan alan is going to be there all day long with arguably the largest display of potato chip mem memorabilia i think you were saying in like the world maybe yeah, yeah. right it's big and it uh, big. we may have to do a little analysis on you Alan, but that's, uh, <laughs> and also but the i think it's fantastic the idaho oh the potato. idaho potato chip, which was here last year if you don't know what that is it's a truck in the shape of a big potato yeah it's huge right huge. mr It'll potato head Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head will be here for the kids. Oh, great. There's a little contest. There's a balloon contest. There's music. Um, it's, so it's going to have sort of a festival atmosphere, uh, family-oriented. Yeah, good. And you, all going to a good cause. Yeah, it's like $5. I mean, just come, please, because all the money goes to the Lions Club to help in their efforts right here in Saratoga. It doesn't disappear to Idaho or something. Right. It stays right here in Saratoga. And kids are free if they're under 12. Under 12, great. Okay. Oh, that means I can shave and maybe, <laughs> maybe sneak no, in No, I'm sorry, sir. You cannot. See, see, that's how we found Lance. He was trying to sneak in last year. Oh, Lance, kid. you know, you got to cut this out. <laughs> and you get to sample potato chips. I love potato chips. Well, Lance, it's really nice to meet you. Thank you for coming in. My pleasure. Thank you for all the efforts the Lions Thank Club makes. Thank you for makes supporting the Lions Club, too. Oh, you're welcome. Well, I doubt Very it. Nice. Alan, great to see great you. Great to see you again, as Thank always. You. And uh, July 15th, Saturday, middle of the summer, the heritage of the potato chip right here in Saratoga. You got it. All right, guys, take it easy. Thank, Thank you. you. To see this interview again, you can head to our website, looktvonline.com.